How can we get our clients to enter the model that we are actually working on? There's one solution for that. We already have a reader available for our software. So you're yeah. able to install a reader, which is able to open up the Arch9 files. So you can you yeah. can ask your clients to open your files and, and take a look around. But that, that obviously would not allow them to, to jump right in and look around. First, they would have to master how to navigate with the software. For that reason, we, are, we developed a feature called Panorama 360, which puts the user into the model itself and they can look around and navigate between preset waypoints. Yeah. So let's let's look at how this works. So obviously this is a, a, a bit VR territory, but uh, let's let's talk about how how do we do that within the software. Yes, um, the tool is 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 developed to be very simple uh, to use, and it goes with these options here. You will find a view, and there is Panorama 360, and there are these options. The first things first you will always have to set up a camera. This camera will go to a specific room, so we, you will likely name it uh, for that room, like bedroom or corridor or something like that. You will place that camera and you can add the other one. And so you keep going and add these uh, cameras as much as you want on your layout. And when you don't want to add more, you just hit cancel. Then you are able to select the camera, click on rotate, rotate it to an initial point when this, for example, looks to the door. Then you can even click on the door and find its opening angle and open the door. See a <coughs> door but now it's open. Yes, and then you can do the same thing with here. You can even move this camera around, set up a different position, set up a different view, rotate it 90 degrees or freely, and then you can go to the Panorama 360 and say that you would like to view what the camera sees and then the software will, when you click on it, the software will tell you what, mm -hmm. the, what that camera sees. So you can easily control and see what happens. Now, but this is not enough for a Panoramic 360, especially if you would like to use it as an interactive kind of uh, uh, walk, uh, walkthrough. Uh, so you need to somehow tell to corridor how you can get to the bedroom. And that is so you have done... to connect the, uh, the uh, cameras together. Yes, and that is done using this link hotspot between cameras. So you can just set up that this hotspot will be at a certain height and it connects this and this camera and it appears here on the door or, or in, the, in the opening. And then you can set up another one, another one, but now we only, only have two cameras, so I'm done with that. And then at the end, you can say that, OK, I would like to create a draft mode tour or I would like to create a random mode tour. Now, obviously, draft mode tour will take a very short time. It will have the, um, the result, as I can see here, uh, in seconds. So you just push that option. The software calculates these, these uh, panoramic 360s, create one single file, and that's very, uh, a very good thing. So you don't have to yes. send the packages of files for your client. Just for one client. HTML file, which can be opened up in a browser. So yes, you can just anywhere. email this out <laughs> to, your, to your clients. They won't even be large files, to, to, to be exact. So we'll, we'll look at that in a second. So what? So, yeah. Yes. So actually, what you will uh, end up with is this is this is the render. Then this is this is the the draft version. Mm -hmm. So you send this in an email to your clients. It's an HTML file, and then this is what they can do. Either they do it on their phone or their or their desktop computer. And they can swipe through, or they they can just grab at the mouse and they can look around at the first view. And then you, if you turn around, we will see uh, on, the, on the door there is this uh, link hotspot, and that that's how it looks like. So you can just go from one room to another one. And then you can just jump from one room to, to the living room, to the corridor, to the, to the bedroom using these link hotspots. And this is how they appear in the 3D. Yeah, so you can look around. Now I'm doing it with the mouse, but it is possible to, to do <coughs> it uh, on a phone. From, uh, before, we, before we show that, let's, uh, let's talk about how to do it in a rendered way. Because this, was, this one was, <coughs> was created in minutes, because this is a draft. Actually, seconds. It, it takes a very, oh, very short okay, time to, to, to generate, even, even a large model. So it's, it's very fast to create this result. If you would like to render uh, a result uh, from the same model, it will take hours to create. Because uh, in yeah, that case, the, the software has itself, to calculate so. uh, you know, reflections and uh, something more realistic. And then it, it has to do it in a, in a 360 angle, uh, 360 de degree angle all around. So it's not just one still, still image, but it's a series of still images, if you, if you fancy. And then, then it, this will be connected into, the, into a file. So compared to that one, this took uh, a few hours to calculate. Of course, the result is also different, but in that case, you will have to wait longer as well. So let's, <coughs> let's talk about what happens if you send this out to your clients. Uh, it is possible to, to open these up on a, on a mobile phone 
and you can you can get these uh, these phones into a VR viewer, which you can use to take a look around. We have a video to actually demonstrate that, courtesy of, of our uh, of our colleague, who took it upon herself to actually show how this works. So what happens is that uh, there is a mobile phone within this viewer and the file is running onto it. So when, when she is tilting her head, then she can look around because the, the gyroscope is, is actually able to track her motions and you can look around in this model. Uh, since this VR goggles have, uh, have split lenses for both eyes, you are able to, to look around and, uh, and see the model in a, in a three-dimensional way. We have one sample device here. So this is yeah. a very, very simple gadget actually you can just uh, it has a tray here this is this is actually where you put your uh, phone into you just slide it in and you, of course before that you load this uh, scene you will have an option here to click and then you will have you will see this split uh, yes. split view it will look like this and then you enter it into the phone and then when someone sees uh, what's inside using these uh, lenses here they will see uh, the same uh, immersion as we demonstrated in the video. That's right. And it's just one HTML <laughs> file, so there's no miracle in this one and there's no additional gadgets that you have to do. And then the difference between here, you will see, you see uh, many VR solutions around of you perhaps already. Uh, the difference between this and the, something that is very, very expensive, this, this costs, I don't know, a few times $10 mo max. Yes. And then you can use your own phone. Uh, you you won't be able to walk as you can see now you you, you cannot move forward you can look around you can uh, kind of target the, the the entrance and then you can go to the other room and then you can look around this is how it works but you cannot um, go behind the desk if you yes, if you yes. uh, That's didn't something that, create. that is, is not possible with this setup but it's a, it's a affordable way <coughs> to make your models and it's um, very immersive it's very good in yeah. a, a walkthrough way now